I saw Bueller on the news. When he looked into the camera, there's him looking at us. That kind of sealed the deal. Bueller was abandoned by a breeder and dropped off in a box to the SPCA. He was in really bad shape. The first time we examined Bueller, we were very concerned because he couldn't walk at all. It's an issue that breeders breed a dog that has a congenital defect, and so they relinquish it to a shelter. We're very even-keeled people, but when you see Bueller's face at six weeks old, and the only option the breeder offered to the SPCA was he's going to put him down, that is probably the most heartbreaking thing you could ever hear. We could right away see he wanted to live. We agreed, okay, it might be a lot of work, but let's give it a try. We tried water therapy and allows their legs to be moving in a more natural position because he's not having to hold his weight up. What are they doing? We were trying a bunch of different things. Bueller has this determination to get what he wants. took all these trials and tribulations in stride. He's just a trusting soul at heart. There we go! Nope. The first time he could even hold his weight up with his feet under him, that was a big milestone. That's where we saw that, okay, here's the first step toward success. The first time we saw him actually walking, all of us were just about in tears. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, yeah. Because, you know, you never know, you're never quite sure we're going to get there. It was like, he's going to have a good life. We had just lost our dog a few months prior. Not having noise, breathing and snoring and nails on the floor, not having that was deafening. It was too quiet. We just weren't sure if we could ever get another dog because of the feeling on the final days. But then we thought to ourselves for the nine years before that, how much happiness he brought to our lives. It was something we really had to think about that we wanted to be a part of Bueller's journey and wanted him to be a part of our family. I couldn't sleep the night before. It's kind of like a kid on Christmas. Like, you know, the next day is going to be one of the best days. They put him in my lap and I think he was nervous like me. The staff, the doctors, that text, everybody who was involved in Bueller's recovery, they all said their goodbyes in the hopes they would see him again. We were all very, very proud of the work we did for him. Here was a family who was going to love him to death just as he is. It's like taking a child home from the hospital on the first days. He's your kid and you can do nothing but smile. He was a little maybe timid on the first couple days, but after that, it was off to the races. The first place we really took him was the beach. He didn't know what to do about the water, but he loved the sand. His first time seeing the ocean, he loved it. He still had some trouble walking. He was very, very willing to work on himself. We would train him with a ball, strengthening his muscles. Is that your ball? We saw a difference within the first few months of getting him. You could see Bueller becoming a more confident dog. He knew that there are things he could do now and he could run more, he could go to the dog park more. Bueller is such a strong fighter and never once gave up on that. Come on, breakfast. We've had him for two years now. Every morning, Bueller will steal Kobe's food. If there's any morsel left, Kobe doesn't really mind either. We call Kobe Shadow. Everywhere Bueller goes, Kobe shadows. Bueller's definitely the big brother because Kobe is deaf. He feels safe with Bueller. Bueller's always happy. He loves going on walks, going to the dog park. He loves to go to the pet store. He loves car rides. He loves people. He loves food. First and foremost, he loves food. Loves food. He definitely has a favorite toy. He has a glow-in-the-dark green ball. It's a part of him. It's like his baby. It really helps with training and keeping his muscles strong. He's always pushed himself. He's kind of a little force to be reckoned with. Sure, he'd take a nap along the way here and there, but he's full of life. You done for the day? Come on. We are going right now to the Sacramento SPCA where we were fortunate enough to adopt Bueller. So we're gonna go back and show our support and bring toys. They gave to Bueller, so now he's giving back. He's... 
we're going to have surgery on his back right leg. His leg isn't as strong as it should be. That's a definite. That one might have to be for you for your surgery. Seeing everybody is just going to energize him for a surgery coming up in a couple weeks. We get up again and again. We've nothing to lose. Where he first learned how to walk. Come on, come on. Can't hold his back. Remember it? Bueller! Look at this! Did you go, ponies? I'm so happy to see you. But you're walking like a big boy. So cute. Her leg looks like yours used to. <laughs> she was found by a good Samaritan hanging from a chain link fence. We saw that same spark of life, this will to live in her. Bueller's an inspiration to us to keep going, to try things we haven't done before, to help animals that we might have otherwise given up on. We say, remember Bueller, we did it before, we can do it again. This one's just a little bit harder. Let's push a little bit. Let's, let's push the envelope, see what we can accomplish. She's looking at him like, you made it? It was worth it. They have this will to live. They have this, you know, joie de vivre. That gives us the will and the energy to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to tell them what you brought. Oh. Ooh, Is that for her? Thank this? you. Show her your favorite mm. one. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming, Bueller. Oh. <laughs> it's so delightful to see him enjoying his life, knowing how far he's come. This is where people brought Bueller treats and toys and food just to help him out. So now we get to give back along with Bueller. Hopefully one day, people like myself will just see the potential in these great dogs that are there. And it'll bring such a happiness to whoever needs that extra little bit of love in their house. The staff, their time, patience, and love is what brought Bueller back and walking. Big day. Got this big guy. We are going to go pick up Bueller after successful surgery. So we are extremely excited to go see him. Good. We're real good. Bueller did so great during the entire surgery. After the surgery, he didn't sleep very well, and so Alex and Bueller and Kobe camped on the couch. Bueller could not fall asleep without his head on my chest. He's recovering nicely. He loves his octopus. He's getting his strength back. There's nothing that's going to stand in his way. From the beginning, he's worked so hard, so hard, and it does pay off. He really does live his life to the absolute fullest. You cannot have a bad day with him touching your life. 